I'm Alex Dykes. This is a 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport, and this is a Gronko Classic Ride 50 child seat, which means it is now time for our weekly child seat video. Now, just to clarify, we're taking a look at the Santa Fe Sport today. This is the five passenger Santa Fe sold in the United States. There's also a Santa Fe without the Sport. That is the six or seven passenger Santa Fe, and we will not be covering that vehicle in today's review. Since this is a five passenger SUV, let's start out our review up front. I'm going to move this front passenger seat forward until I have about two inches of room between my knees and the dashboard. We'll see how comfortable that is. It's actually pretty comfortable in a Santa Fe Sport. The footwell is quite deep and quite far forward. So even sitting this close to the dashboard, my feet are in a very comfortable position. My head doesn't feel like it's too close to the windshield either. Our Santa Fe has the optional sliding second row seat. So you can see they do have a decent range of sliding motion in this vehicle. We also have reclining seats. This lever right here not only folds the seat forward, but it also acts as the recline button. This is the most upright position and then this is the most reclined position. They do have a decent recline to them in this vehicle. As you can see, I now have one rear-facing child seat in the vehicle. This is a convertible seat suitable for children from four to 50 pounds. So this is a proper installation mode. In the video, it does make it look like this child seat is a little bit more upright than it really is in the vehicle. This actually is in the correct position according to the ball that's in the little raceway on the child seat. You do want that ball to be in the green zone. Now I don't have this child seat actually strapped into the vehicle, but if it was, it would actually be pressed into the seat about an inch further, and that would give you the adequate clearance between the front seat and the child seat. Because the Santa Fe is almost a half step larger than something like a CRV or a RAV4, we do have a little bit more room in the second row for a rearward facing child seat behind an average six foot tall guy sitting in the front seat. Now, just because of the way the Santa Fe's dashboard is shaped, I wasn't able to sit comfortably in the driver's seat with a child seat behind me. You can see it's touching right here, and the ball is most importantly not in the green section of the raceway for this rearward facing installation. Now, it would be possible for me to move the driver's seat forward and install a rearward facing child seat right behind me, but it wouldn't be as comfortable as if this child seat was over there on the passenger side. Now, one nice touch in the Santa Fe is that many vehicles place the top tether anchor practically on the floor in two row crossovers. That's not happening in the Santa Fe. It's about halfway up the rear seat back. That means I can actually sit right here normally in this seat and then latch that top tether anchor and then pull it tight without having to crawl in the back in order to do that. Now, a lot of vehicles, you do have to crawl practically in the cargo area in order to attach the top to their anchor, because again, that buckle is practically down there at the bottom of the seat. Now, sitting next to these two child seats, you can see that I do have enough room for my shoulders to sit comfortably in this seat. The center child seat is actually sitting in the middle of the bench seat right back here in the back. That's important because a lot of vehicles that are narrower than this, the center child seat is not truly sitting in the center of the bench seat. It's skewed off to one side or the other. Now, even though we do have the model with the large panoramic sunroof, I do have an adequate amount of headroom back here. My hair is brushing the ceiling, but my head is not touching the ceiling. That brings me neatly to the three across child seat test. And again, the Santa Fe scores very well here, thanks to the increased width versus some of the smaller entries in this segment. As you can see, I have a decent amount of room between the child seat and the door. I can actually fit almost an entire fist right in there. That's more room than you'll find in your average compact crossover. Now, most importantly, if you look across towards where the armrest is in the vehicle, I do have about three inches of room between the child seat and the armrest itself. And that's important because in the event of a crash, you want all of the child seat to be a safe distance away from the door. This also gives you adequate room for the side curtain airbags to deploy safely outside the child seat, not inside the child seat. Well, the Nissan Rogue and the Cherokee did score very well in this test as well. The Santa Fe has a little bit of extra room. So if you do like larger or wider child seats, then the Santa Fe will do a little bit better in this test than in some of those narrower options. This was a little bit of a tight squeeze in the Toyota RAV4. Now, because the Santa Fe Sport is almost a half step larger than something like a RAV4 or a CRV, we have more room in the cargo area than those compact options. In fact, with the second row folded, you have about the same amount of room as you find in a Ford Edge or a Toyota Venza, which are significantly larger than something like a RAV4 or a CRV. That's over 70 cubic feet of storage area behind the front row. Now, because the Santa Fe Sport is really more of a mid-sized crossover vehicle than a compact crossover vehicle, I have this 26-inch roller bag right here. I can jam that right in the trunk that way, and I can put this 24-inch roller bag right in front of it, and I can still close the hatchback. That's not something you can do in the compact entries in this segment. We also have some additional underfloor cargo storage where you can actually put about two 26-inch roller bags right under the load floor, and then you can pile all the other luggage right on top. Now, we don't have a standard tonneau cover, which I think is a little bit of an omission in this vehicle, but because this is such a large cargo area, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those two roller bags in there and add some child seats.
I can very easily fit three child seats and a wide variety of luggage right back here into the cargo area, and I could even put them under the tonneau cover if I packed carefully and if I had the tonneau cover. Now some nice practical touches right back here in the cargo area are a large sturdy handle to help you close this tailgate very easily, and we also have a child escape hatch right back here in the back. If somehow your child is stuck right back here in the cargo area of the car, there is a release for the tailgate. That's a little bit rare because it's not required by federal law. It's not the standard glow-in-the-dark release, however. It does have this sort of uh, little hatchback diagram right there on the plastic itself. You just have to know what that is reach in and then you can grab the latch. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes and this has been the 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. Go ahead and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen so you can be updated on all of my latest videos, including the full review of the Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. You can find me over at facebook.com slash alexandautos, over at Twitter as alexandautos, and you can also email your questions to alex at alexandautos.com. I'll see you next week.